Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to graph an ellipse. Now, I've graphed another ellipse in another video, but what we're going to do is graph an ellipse in a different form. Okay, this one has the center still at the origin because we don't have a value added to x or y in this equation, but we do have a squared underneath the y value. So let's look at the equation. We have x squared over 4 plus y squared over 16 is equal to 1. One of these two denominators is a squared and one is b squared. a is always greater than b on an ellipse because an a value is half of the length of the major axis. So what I've got to do first is set my a and b squared to each, each one of these values and solve for a and b. So b squared is the smaller value, so b squared must be 4. So when we take the square root, we get 2. And the reason we don't, don't do positive and negative 2 is because this is a distance, so it's just the positive 2. And then a squared, since a is larger, must be equal to the 16. Therefore, a is 4. So now I'm going to go to my graph and let's plot some points. Okay, we know we have a center at the origin. The a value is 4, and that's my major axis. Now, what I need to do is go back and look and see what which axis I'm working with for a. And since it's y squared over 16, that means my major axis is going up and down the y axis. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Count up A, count down A, 1, 2, 3, 4. And so my vertices are at 0, plus and minus 4. Now my covertices along my minor axis are associated with the x-axis. So I'm going to take my center and count left 2 and right 2. That means my covertices are at the point plus or minus 2, comma 0. And I'll write those down in just a second. But let's just go ahead and draw the ellipse. So here's the ellipse. Now we are missing the values of C, which are the foci. So to find C, we're going to take A squared minus B squared to find C squared. And so let's just plug in what we know. A squared we know is 16. And B squared is 4. So that means C squared must be equal to 12. So to find the value of C, we just square root both sides. And again, it's a distance. So that's just the square root of 12, which is between 3 and 4. It's not an exact value, so we're going to have to estimate it as we graph it. Now, if I want to simplify that, I'm going to pull out the 2. And it's going to be 2 square roots of 3. That's the value of C simplified. But when I go to graph it along the major axis, because remember the foci is always on the major axis, I'm going to go up a little bit, or it's between um, 3 and 4. So it's going to be approximately here and approximately there, and there are my foci. So now let's write these ordered, woo, these ordered pairs. So my vertices, they are at 0 and plus and minus 4 because they're going up and down the y-axis. My co-vertices are at plus or minus 2 because they're along the x-axis, comma 0. And my foci, my focus, my two foci are also along the y-axis. So it's going to be 0 and then plus or minus 2 square roots of 3. And that's how you find those points. Now the major axis, that's the length from vertex to vertex. So it's actually equal to 2a. Well, how long is a? a is 4, so that means 2a must be 8, and that is my major axis. My minor axis is from the center to b, or my co-vertex, which means it's 2 times b, because it's this entire distance. And that means it's 2 times 2, which is just 4. So there are the links of my major axis, my minor axis, my vertex, covertex, and our vertices, covertices, and my foci. And that's how you graph an ellipse with a vertex at the origin 
and A is under the Y value instead of under the X value. So I hope this video is helpful and you graphing ellipses.